Hi, this is Katie Fehrenbacher, Senior Writer and Analyst for Green Biz, and I'm here in the Green Biz Studio with Ashley White, who's the Director of Sustainability for Clean Energy, which is the company, largest company in the U.S. that makes natural gas and renewable gas transportation fuel. That's correct. And uh, they have some pretty big news they want to share with us. Tell us about that, Ashley. Yeah, so at the end of the year last year, we quietly released some, what we hope to be the fueling industry's most aggressive sustainability goals. Um, so we've identified a three-pronged approach. The first is a commitment to get to a zero carbon natural gas portfolio by 2025. Um, we also offer renewable natural gas at many of our stations throughout the United States. We're looking to expand that to every clean energy station by 2025. We also are looking to reduce our carbon footprint on what we can control within our supply chain, and we're looking to make a commitment to reducing that by 25% by 2025. Wow, so how difficult is this? I mean, I know that sourcing, uh, replacing natural gas with renewable gas is a sometimes expensive, kind of difficult process. Um, so tell us about the journey that you, that you went through to get here. Right. As of last year, we represented more than 50% of the renewable natural gas market in North America. Um, more and more supply is coming online every day. We have strategic partnerships to ensure that when that supply comes online, we're well-placed to receive that fuel and put it into our network. So we're already looking far down the road, next three, five, ten years, on what sources will be coming online and how we might be able to leverage that in our network. So, you know, it's like hog and cow farms, it's water waste and landfills, right? So yes. where is the bulk of this type of renewable natural gas coming from for your network? Right, so the most common application that we've seen in the past has been from landfill. And then after that, you saw the introduction of wastewater treatment facilities. And now we're seeing the addition of dairy farms and hog farms and this dairy sort of um, waste. And that's, this, that's the most potent and powerful types of sources. That one has the ability to reduce the most amount of carbon and GHG. Um, so those are what we're really looking for upstream as we move forward. Is it economic now to replace it, or is it more about sustainability goals? It is. It depends on where you're at. There are different programs. Uh, the RINs Renewable Fuel Standard Program throughout the, um, the United States. And then there are states like California that have a low carbon fuel standard that make it more economical than some places. Um, we have an excellent portfolio type of approach that helps us balance where we're putting fuel so that we can ensure that we're out getting renewable fuel even outside of those states like California. Yeah, and the bulk of the network is fueling commercial fleets, right? Like buses and garbage trucks, right? It is. Um, we have lots of public stations available. We have a network of 530 stations throughout the United States, but we do work with many transit and fleet customers to help them put a station on their facilities. Um, so that they can have access to that fuel as well. Great. And so you, you're saying you told the company, uh, or the press release came out this morning, and there was a little bit of anxiety about that. Um, tell us about internally how, how your peers thought. Um, yeah, we have such an amazing CEO. Uh, when I brought forward the goals that I was really looking to achieve, he sat in the meeting and said, we can do better. Um, and you know, as we're working through pulling these goals together and figuring out how we were going to accomplish them, some of our team got a little nervous about it. And, you know, understandably so. Goals should make you nervous. You should challenge yourself. And we're feeling the pressure, but we know we can get there, and we're excited to, to do this. And so thankful for the support of our CEO. All right, Ashley, thank you so much for sharing us. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.